Yeah. Mm, good morning. So I'll be honest. And uh, yeah, I didn't sleep so well. <laughs> but I'm up. I'm up. It's uh, four four forty. Um. I'm gonna try and get the shot. Ah, I don't know. It's, yeah, those mosquitoes last night, they... Uh, so, it's so hot, so you leave yourself exposed and they can get you through the... through the material. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit weird, eh? I just uh, ended up having to get used to getting eaten in my hands but, 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 but. I got the spray I had to wake up and do spray oh, it's actually really really pretty listen to those creatures the waves are pretty pretty soft and nice too huh well, there it goes. It's no wind, so I think it's stable over there. Very cool. Got a bit of cloud, so that looks... could be cool. Um, yeah, so... Mmm, I've been eating alive. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, okay. Well... I left a little bit of breakfast out for me, it's really easy to get. Um, I just really want this yogurt. Yeah, it's good. Yum, yum, yum. So I've never actually used this yet. Um, yeah, so we've got to choose a, a lure here. Um, chosen the lure. I don't know if it's a morning one. Fish should be waking up soon. Got about an hour before the time lapse finishes. Looks like a bit of low tide. Uh, hmm, I have no idea. Too close here. Yeah. These rocks are hard to. I'm a bit uh, disappointed that the, <coughs> the, that cloud has kind of ruined my sunrise shot. I'm come, come this side for a little bit. Um, maybe I can get closer to that structure in the water. It's 
not so simple just getting across these little rocks. Yeah, I've got myself hooked here, snagged, but I don't want to lose this lure. It's a nice lure. Uh, I'll take my stuff. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah, it's so slippery, those rocks. Yeah, okay, I think my time's up. Yeah, it was beautiful though. It wasn't the best sunrise, but I enjoyed it. I'm glad I got up early. I didn't sleep so well. Um, Beautiful, eh? Oh, I just realized I left one of my mounts there down by the by the shore. Typical. So I didn't actually have my cup noodle yet last night, so it's just waiting for me. To go here, so let me put that on and I can start picking up.
and that needs to cool down. <sighs> Here we go. The breakfast of champions is big cup noodle. Look. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a winner. There is the breakfast. I think it's hot. Can try get it first. Okay, so packed up, fed. Um, I left that mount down by the shore, so we're going to collect that. It's... It's 7 o'clock. Um, well, I won't change the lure, I'll just have a few more casts, why not? Um, let's have a few more casts and then I'll pack it up. The sun's gotten quite high. It's just seven o'clock and it's all the way up there. Totally different. Um, yeah, so I've got to get that mount that's just down there. I think that's it over there. Is it? Wow. Okay, well, let's do 20 minutes fishing here. Fishing boats, huh? Very nice. Time to get on the road, 7.30. Um, we'll have to do some more fishing later on, eh? Huh? Man, these rocks are just the worst. I need like a shoe that's like half a cycling shoe and a half a fishing shoe. We're off. Um, yeah, we are moving. It's before eight o'clock. We are moving. I'd say pretty successful. Um, no fish though. So I looked. I realised yesterday I didn't bring my raincoat. And then I think maybe there might be a bit of rain tomorrow. It's so warm that it's not like life-threatening but it could be uncomfortable especially if it gets into my sleeping stuff um, so well, let's just have a look at the forecast for tomorrow it's now 24 degrees oh no it's 27 already tomorrow 70 percent chance of rain Ay -ay -ay. So I'm probably going to get wet. Ah, tracks. Um, alright. Yeah, so the next stop is a tummy. About 10, 15 k's from here. I think I go through one little town first. Um, the tummy I'm going to stop and take care of those tax forms. 
get that over. <laughs> it's gonna ruin my holiday, those fucking tax ones. Check out the beach here and then find the post office. All those gaijins, they do look like gaijins. Oh, this is a really nice place. I like it. There's a castle over there. I've never actually come here in summer. So, yeah, that's really cool. Um, so this place was like a boom town in the late 80s and 90s, I guess. And then the, the, when like Tokyo businessmen were coming here and spending tons of money. So all these things got developed. So you get the idea that this is like a really big town, but it's actually not. really good um, I might come back there once I've done everything I need to do um, yeah, it's nice there it's nice in the water flops with some sand in it okay so I need to go to the post office now. I really like it here. Yeah? Quiet little uh, getaway from Tokyo. A lot of uh, hot springs and whatnot. Never really do that, but I just, you know, it's past the tater and it's, you can, it's got a bit of character to it. I like it here. Yeah. Never stayed, I always come and go. It's pretty accessible from Tokyo. Um, it's not so difficult to get you at all. Alright, here we are at the post office. Um, 
cool. Okay, let's post officing. Um, it's going to be difficult. This might not be so straightforward because printing from email will be hard. I'm going to have to use my translator. Yeah, okay, well, obviously they don't allow, they don't let me print there, so I have to go somewhere else to print. Ah. Alright, we're at 7 Eleven. Can try this one, but generally they don't have like email facility. You gotta bring your own USB, but there's no way I can do that, so you might have to ask for help again. Yeah, that was a win, hey? The Indian guy in there was a super smart, sharp on the, um, on the email to print thing. Two copies of the tax deduction form. And I rewarded myself for the energy drink. Tax deduction forms. Oh yeah, so this is going to get done. This is literally going to be over and done with. Kind of reminds me of an episode of Asterix and Obelix, 12 tasks. You have to go to the place that sends you mad. You need the pink form to get the blue form to get the you know, abdomen in Japan. So I've got the Japanese one here and then I've got the English one for reference. Um, Okay, I must send uh, My head is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I got some of them. Wow. I just can't believe that's finally done. That is like, that was the most stressful thing. Like over the last day, and I just had to get that done. Ah, it's finished. No more tax forms. So I think um, I want to go to the castle. Do you want to go to the castle? I think the castle should be. The castle seems like a good idea. Oh, so good to be done with that. Just cruising here by the river. That's nice. Uh, those are the Hakone Mountains behind me. Alright, getting closer to the, the castle. Um, looks like there's a ropeway to get up there. Uh, there's a ferry just leaving for Matsushima Island. Cool pigeons, just chilling. There's some of that old, old buildings just chilling as well. Going up the ropeway there, the castle's just up there. Uh, which way do I get through there?
Um, that jet ferry is really going fast. You can see Hatsushima Island out there. Yeah, it's going really fast. That's so cool. I get like six dollars on me. It is like international law. But like anything fun costs eight dollars. So I'm probably not going to be able to get in here. Uh, Asami Castle. Okay. Just enough. I had more than six bucks. It was ten bucks. Ah, see you <laughs> I guess I'm... So let's go have a look at Hatsushima Island. It's a bit hazy. You can still, still see the jet trail that ship made all the way. Could already be there. Oh, I went there once before. So ultimately, so there's in Oshima, no, no, there's Oshima, Hatsushima. And then where we're going is all the way past there, around the bend, um, near, near Jima. So it's still quite a long way to get there, probably like two days from here, riding. But, um, oh, very cool. Um, I like it here. I'm going to take a few photos with, with the, uh, the digital. Um, yeah, it's wonderful up here. So we are going to go after the after the castle. One, two, and then round that bend, get to Ito. Let's see that tunnel going over there. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Huh. Okay, that was nice. But I actually don't have too much time to play with. I went up to the top. I got the good photo. Uh, I can't go through the museum and stuff. It's 11.30 now. I gotta keep moving. Let's get the one more. 
Oh yeah, um, I should probably tell you, that's not actually a real castle. Uh, it was built in the 50s. So it's just like a tourist trap. It's like made out of concrete. Okay, uh, lunch time. I don't feel like a big lunch, not like yesterday. So I do want something nice. Um, so I have to go to the ATM. <laughs> Okay, well, finding the ATM took like a half an hour and I just grabbed the first place that I saw. There's pasta, I, don't, I can't read Japanese, well I can't really speak it either, but um, I'll just do some, maybe that one looks like a vegetable. That was a good lunch, very delicious. Um, back on the road now, our next stop is Ito, I think about 20 k's, 25 k's from here. Uh, good solid hour and a half, two hours. Let's go. up to
like a bit of a yacht club here. Let's just check it out here. Oh, it's a very cute lighthouse, isn't it? Uh oh, end of the line. There's some nice statues over here. Let's check them out. So, this is an English ship. Oh, I looked this up actually. Um, this is the first place in Japan where they started building European ships. There is a clock here. Um, here, then, while Shakespeare, yes, as with its came an Englishman to win a different fame and with his different skill find a place in the long chronicles of Nippon's race. How gladly I, after 300 years, come where Ad Will Adams led the pioneers of ship design in Ito. Yeah, so in 1600, I think 1604, uh, the Sokogaku Shogunate, I think I'm getting that right, uh, commissioned an Englishman to start modernizing the Japanese fleet. Alright, um, I got about an hour to play with, so I thought this river, uh, there's the ocean or the sea, uh, there's the mouth. It looks like tides coming in, it could just be the wind. Check at this, I've never seen this. It looks like wild koi. See him there? How cool is that? Am I allowed to fish that? Um, hmm, okay. They said it's like, it's okay. But they're also like confused because maybe in the summer months people feed the carp. So, like, I don't really want to be catching that carp, it's so beautiful. I don't damage it when I pull the hook out or something like that. It's just not, I don't want to catch it. I want to catch a bass or something. But, further down on the point there, there's a lot of people fishing. So, that's where I'm going to go. Okay. Wow, everyone's got heavy setup. Doing it. Right. Um, yeah, I can sit up here and have a good fish, I think. I don't know if lure fishing is right. ideal. It's going to float a cork or something. But, um,
blew in already. I snapped the uh, lever back while I was casting and there was too much weight on my lure and I just snapped the line. Yeah, okay, we're we'll back for back on the lighter lure this morning's this morning's guy. Seems like there's actually no fish in there. Ah, oh, it's looking good. Still got 10 kilometers to go. Um, I think I'm running out of daylight now. I need to need to get to the top, set up camp. Decided to go the scenic route this this way. Push it. Push it. I'm glad this guy's in front of me because I'm so. Really not too far to go. Okay. This is so good. It's just so steep. What can I do? Get my favorite refreshment. Oh. Little bottle, chito. How can they do me like that? Oh man. We're looking for two trees close together. I'm going to get off and get a closer look. So I totally underestimated that climb. That was actually pretty brutal. Um, so this is the volcano. So I guess I went to the top of a volcano. I shouldn't be so surprised that it was tough. Um, I'm looking at these two trees. Everything's just spaced a little bit too far away. It's kind of frustrating. Everything, there'll be better options up there. All right, these two. Look like they're the ones. What a lovely pair. Right, well, we can't really see anything, but managed to get the thing set up. And yeah, it's so sweaty. It's out there. It's actually started raining while I was setting up. Um, and it's going to rain tonight. 
So we're going to be safe under there. Everything under here will stay dry. Okay. All fixed up for the morning. Um, oh, gonna go to bed. Gonna eat something. Go to bed. Try to wake up early. All right. Here's that rain, huh? Uh, well, I'm so tired. I'm gonna say goodnight. So I'll see you all in the morning. Don't forget to like and subscribe.